welcome to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel. When we are again coming to you from Dolan Real Estate in Sunapee, where their local family-owned real estate firm services will surpass any franchise company. Just ask their clients. We'll meet Jessica Dolan, the co-owner here, whose sales and marketing background and her eye for interior design brings clients the best of their all-around service. Kirk Bishop of the Lake Centipede Protective Association will give us a rundown on why we need to be more attentive to our water resources. Christine Frost, the owner of Soul Source in Bradford, will tell us why people are attracted to doing business with brands that source services and materials in highly ethical ways. And we'll close with Lindsay Dausch, a musician and principal of Take Three. They live at the intersection of music where pop, classical, and American roots collide. But first, a few words from the underwriters that make your Yankee Chronicle possible. Please don't socially distance yourself from these businesses because they are an important part of our economy's economic health. Pricing points to corporate mountain. Freedom of the press is about your right to know. It's about your right to be informed. Today, no. there are real threats to press freedom. And your right to know about the world around us. We must protect our right to know, no matter what kind of news is important to you. Before it's too late, understand the threats. Protectpressfreedom.org. This program is supported by H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Their full service model offers oil delivery, propane, motor fuels with design, installation, service, and maintenance of all types of oil, gas, and alternative energy systems, as well as air conditioning, water conditioning systems, and backup generators. Their highly trained and friendly staff will assist you throughout the process of buying, installing, and servicing a full line of energy products. H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel, coming to you from Dolan Real Estate's office right here in Sunapee. Come say hi to them right next to Sunapee Pizza Chef. I'm now joined by co-owner Jessica Dolan of Dolan Real Estate. Hi, Jessica. Hi, how are you? Really nice to have uh, us in your office, which we appreciate, but thank you for hosting us, too. Absolutely, my pleasure. It's so exciting. We heard last week from your husband, Anthony, about the business. You're growing like crazy. You're opening a second office location, a new website, a lot happening. But I think people are also really interested in just What's the take on the market these days? So give us the lowdown. What's the real estate market in this area doing? The market is still great in this area. There's still a lot of buyers looking because of the mountain and the lake. Yes. Um, it's a great year-round vacation spot. And um, so they're willing to pay the, the price. Yes. And what are the trends you're seeing for both buyers and sellers? People who are like, yep, I think it's time to sell. Are there still buyers interested in looking? Yeah, there's buyers definitely interested in looking because they've been waiting for um, there to be less buyers. Yes. So they're definitely still buyers and um, sellers are feeling more comfortable listing their homes now that COVID's kind of, you know. Good point. And is this a um, still popular time to list if someone's watching and they're thinking, oh, I really missed the mark. We're now well into October, into November. Is it still an okay time to list a property? Absolutely. I just put three houses under contract this weekend. Okay. So, so. it doesn't mean that just because the summer's done and the 75 degree weather's over that it doesn't mean you can't sell. No, it's okay. a great time to sell. Good to know. So definitely call you for that. Talk about your luxury services when you go to list a property. What does that mean? Because I think it's, people might think, oh, luxury, you have to have X amount of digits in the number, or you need to have a certain number of bedrooms or bathrooms. But you really, your goal is to bring luxury to each listing. Yes, so it doesn't matter the price point. We always do the professional services. We have beautiful photos, professional photos. Yep. We have drone photos. We take every listing seriously and make sure it's always shown in its best light. And how do you get a fancy blue sign on the front of your office? What does that uh, contribute to? Um, we just pick random ones, so. Okay, that's my favorite part. It always lights up the windows. It's yeah. perfect. Yeah, well, if it sells too quickly, it won't go up there. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and talk about your staging background, because you have you have an eye for staging a property, which also helps, too, when you go in, you can make the adjustments before photos and video. Right, I mean, naturally I have an eye, but okay. I've also taken classes and gun sort of Okay, yeah. so that helps, yeah. too. Yeah. Any other parts of luxury real estate that uh, falls under that category when you list a property? Well, I am a certified luxury marketing specialist, so I have a lot of tools and a lot of opportunities to um, market 
higher end properties sure. to other people around the world. And when you talk about marketing a listing, is it including social media, website, print, all those facets yes, so that people are you're getting your property yeah, in front of other everything, people? Everything, all, all of the above. Important. Talk about selling Lake Sunapee. I mean, that's a huge part. It's a, it's a crazy world out there. Mm -hmm. It's a crazy big lake that have yeah. a lot of properties on it. What's your experience? Well, it's very exciting and challenging to yes. get those <laughs> listings because we are newer, but we are doing a great job and people are noticing. Good. Um, our last sale was 6.4 million. Wow. So, so that's that great. Is, yeah. And is it is it just Lake Sunapee or are you including all waterfront in the area? All waterfronts. That's yeah. important, yeah. right? Because yeah. everyone wants a little taste of uh, some water. Yes. For, for all uh, seasons too, not just swimming. Right, right. <laughs> you got to be able to ice fish yeah, and skate. Like skating, exactly. I love it. Dolan Real Estate also uh, has a big philanthropy side of it. Talk mm -hmm. about some of the things that you support. Well, most of our philanthropy is towards children, um, sports, the schools, um, the rec center, important. the Boys and Girls Club. And why do you think that's an important part to add to your business? Well, I think we have to give back, absolutely. Sure. We appreciate all that we've been given, so we definitely have to give back. We also have five children. Okay. And we appreciate, you know, everything that they can have, and we want other children to have that as well. And before I let you go, what's your background uh, within the real estate and before real estate world, too, just so people get to know who you are? So before real estate, I was a stay-at-home mom for five children, and on the side, I was in luxury sales. Cool. So. Okay. And then here you are. Yeah with another office location opening in New London, which That's is really exciting. 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 Yes. Exciting. Well, Jessica Dolan, thank you so much for joining us and for hosting us. Thank you so much thank for Thank you. When we return, we'll hear more about the need to be more attentive to maintaining the quality of our water resources and a new initiative of the Lake Sunapee Protective Association. But first, let's recognize one of today's underwriters of your Yankee Chronicle. You could be one too. Contact us to learn more about helping grow our local programming and raising your community's profile. Stay with us. When it comes to vaping, the truth can get clouded. So let's make it clear. Vaping is not safe for youth. Because vaping can put microscopic particles into your lungs and dangerous things like metals into your body. And nicotine, which can harm a person's brain development through their mid-20s. With appealing flavors, high nicotine levels, and lots of promotion on social media. Many kids think vaping is harmless, but it's not. So talk to your kids about the risks of vaping. Because when you talk, they hear you. The American Red Cross blood supply is at historically low levels this winter, and we're facing a dangerous situation. Hospitals and patients are counting on donors to get the blood they need. Make a life-saving appointment today. Visit redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. This program is supported by Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire since 1997 with roots going back much further as the Country Press, AccuMail, and the home of the Kearsard Shopper, Echo Communications. Welcome back, I'm Abby Peel, your Yankee Chronicle host. We tend to think of our Lake Sunapee as a pristine and super clean body of water, but things are not as good as we could hope for the future. Let's now hear from Kirk Bishop, a member of the LSPA's board. We moved to Lake Sunapee in 2011 um, and it turned out our next door neighbor was on the board of directors of Lake Sunapee Protective Association and through her I got interested in, and involved in that and uh, uh, frankly, when I, when I learned what a knucklehead I was being about putting fertilizer on my lawn and killing the thing that I love most about being here, it made me even more interested. And uh, as I started to read up on things, uh, my next door neighbor asked me if I would like to be a volunteer on the watershed committee. And uh, I said yes, began to participate in that. It was during the pandemic. A year later, they asked uh, not only if I would like to join the board of directors, but if I'd like to co-chair that committee. It all goes back really to the mission of the Lake Sunapee Protective Association, which abbreviated basically says, devoted to the environmental quality of the Lake Sunapee watershed. Um, to that end, the LSPA has been involved primarily in three activities, research, education, and collaborative activity. 
it always goes back to the research. And we've been fortunate enough to have a network of volunteers and members that have collected really an enormous amount of data over a long period of time over all of the 13 lakes and ponds and multiple streams of the Lake Sunapee watershed. Most recently, as we analyze that data, the lakes and streams and ponds are sending us a very clear but silent message that they're in trouble. And the Let's Be Clear campaign is born out of our desire on the Watershed Committee to give a voice to that message. And, and it really can be summarized in four bullets. First is that the quality of the water in our lakes and streams and ponds is in decline and that all of us who live, work, and play here should be very concerned about that. The second is that the cause of that, it's primarily facilitated by runoff, but the runoff brings in so-called nutrients, I would call them pollutants, into the lake from various sources, but 80% of it is human activity. Uh, the good news there is bullet three. Bullet three is that if each of us uh, not just individuals, but uh, town leadership and, and businesses as well, do our part, we absolutely can reverse this trend. And bullet four is that if we do not reverse this trend, there are truly dire consequences to the watershed, not only in terms of our natural resources and having this beautiful backdrop behind me turn into a blue-green cyanobacteria bloom, um, but also the economy, the entire area, the businesses, the property values and everything will go right down the tank. Among the things that each of us can do, and I'm talking about individuals now in the area, are to eliminate or use phosphorus-free fertilizer, don't apply it within 100 feet of the water. Actually, the University of New Hampshire provides a wonderful service for $20. You can get them to analyze your soil and they will tell you exactly what you need to add to that soil to have it be healthy soil, and then you can add just the right amount of just the right thing. Other things that individuals can do are to use non-toxic pesticides and herbicides, pick up pet waste, maintain your septic system, and regardless of how little you use it, it should be pumped and inspected at least once every three years. Plant buffers instead of lawns near water. Uh, if you wanted some advice on what the best kinds of bushes and plants are to put there, give LSPA a call, we'll be happy to help you with that. Don't feed the waterfowl. Cover bare soil with plants or mulch and follow state and local tree cutting and construction rules. And we are also working with the towns to do things like put the right amount and the right type of road salt on the roads in the wintertime to balance the need for safety with trying to minimize the amount of salt that gets washed into the, to our lakes and ponds and streams. There are some actually very good ordinances on the books of all three towns that border Lake Sunapee about construction and the con uh, containment of erosion associated with new construction. The ordinances are there, the problems are that code enforcement officers are not. So we've been working with the local towns to help them understand how they can uh, get that to pay for itself through a fee structure. One of the premises of the Let's Be Clear campaign is that we believe that most individuals will do the right thing even when no one is looking if they just know what it is. So our attempt here is to educate the public as to the current conditions and what individual actions they can take to make this better. If you really want to understand what the watershed is, come to the Center for Lake Studies. There's a marvelous display. For more information on the Let's Be Clear campaign or anything else about this, what you might want to do in terms of having us assess your personal property through our, our Watershed Wise program, any of the above, please contact www.lakesunapee.org. Thanks, Kirk. Please consider what you are using to beautify and sustain your own property and what effect it has on our greater watershed. When we come back, Christine Frost of Soul Source in Bradford will join us as we learn more about doing business with brands that are environment friendly and minimize harm to the environment and invest in sustainability. But first, let's introduce you to another one of the good folks that make this show sustainable. Please stay with us. We are strong and we'll get through this together, but these are stressful times. Reach out to someone, connect with your friends, and know that you are not alone. Visit wearebroadcasters.com slash hope. Furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. 
When you take your car in for an oil change, a good mechanic will also take care of other routine maintenance to make sure your car runs safely and efficiently. Protecting your health isn't much different. When you get a COVID-19 vaccine, it's important to make sure you're also protected from other serious but preventable diseases. It's easy and convenient to get other routine vaccines at the same time as a COVID-19 vaccine. So make sure you ask a healthcare professional about other vaccines you may need to maintain your health. This program is supported by Main Street Bookends of Warner. For books, toys, games, cards, gifts, and a gallery of local art. Main Street Bookends of Warner. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel. SoulSource is a new business in Bradford that takes a unique and necessary approach to their offerings. Hi, Christine. It is a home goods store that I'm trying to provide things that you may not find elsewhere. We're trying to do things that are made in the U.S. And when we're not doing that, we're trying to also look at what we're bringing in that isn't bringing in chemicals or other harsh things to people's homes. And then there's times when things are just pretty and there's some things that are made in countries outside of the U.S., but they are made by organizations that assist women in starting businesses or that type of thing. So I've spent my life actually in public service. I ran regional planning commissions. I worked for the Department of Commerce Economic Development Administration. I did a, a lot of other things that were community building, trying to you know, improve the economy of various regions and things like that. But I've always had an environmental background. And about four or five years ago, I met uh, Krista Mahaley, who runs Nourish Holistic Health and Nutrition. I have been stuck in my house because of COVID for nearly three years. And even after that, I was working from home because situations have changed. And I was yearning to get out and to do things and to be social. I just was really ready for a change and uh, having all of that background. And I've always had this sort of weird thing about, oh, wouldn't it be fun to own you know, a little general store? Started looking at um, various spaces to open a store and arrived here. You know, Again, it comes to my own personal health and I don't think that I'm unique. So I have a number of products um, that are made in the US. You know, things that make me personally feel warm and cozy in my home, but that aren't filled or made of polyester or those sort of things that just contribute to so many of the health issues that we have. I have two different lines of cookware. There are some products here that will be sort of the foundations, sheets and towels, and I carry a line of furniture and mattresses and cookware, those sort of things. I, I carry a flatware line, which is the only remaining flatware company in the U.S., Liberty Tabletop. They actually bought out a, an Oneida plant in, in New York. That's kind of exciting kind of stuff, you know, and, and any product that they make, I can get for people. It's just drop shipped to their home. And then on top of that, I'm really trying to assist and promote some local makers. So I have um, a furniture maker that's gonna be coming in in November. I have a woodworker who does lots of bowls and cutting boards and really unique things. Um, I have two or three potters that I'm working with. There's a lot of people who um, really like the idea of shopping local and um, being able to support artists and, and makers and things. This particular building that we're sitting in, you know, is surrounded by these amazing windows. It has a really rich history in Bradford. Every other person that walks in the door says, oh, I remember Dodges and I used to get my, you know, ice cream at the soda fountain. And then I also bought my car parts like two steps away. And it was, it sounded like quite a uh, variety of things. And in addition to that, that this area is really rich in uh, folks that have been here for generations. So the idea is to have this retail establishment be able to be successful enough to feed into a new nonprofit that would provide um, nutritional education in a group setting for folks. And it's the kind of environment that I remember when I was younger, stores feeling like. And I don't know where those stores are anymore. I mean, you can go to TJ Maxx, you can go to big box stores, but you're, you're not 
feeling like you're in a place, you know? So um, people love it. I have met with Hannah at Sweet Beat and Kristen um, at Nourish, and we've all kind of gotten together and thought, how can we kind of talk about this jointly and joint marketing? So we've kind of come up with this little tag phrase that says Bradford for the help of it. Uh, and so, you know, it really is sort of establishing this new vibe here, uh, and it's kind of fun. We're at 102 um, East Main Street in Bradford. Thanks, Christine. It's amazing the number of unique businesses that dot our region. When we return, Lindsay Dausch, a classically trained violinist, joins us to tell about her exciting work helping young people in all genres of music recently visiting our Kearsarge schools. But first, let's do what we can to excite you about the future of your Yankee Chronicle. Please stay with us. We all want our kids to grow up safe and healthy, so we show them how, and we tell them with honest conversations that let them know what we expect. That's especially important when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. Kids need to know the dangers and how to avoid them. And when it comes to pain medications, opioids, they need to know that they should never be taken without a prescription and never shared with friends or family. It's dangerous and illegal. So talk with your kids, because when you talk, they hear you. In every family, small conversations can make a big impact. I grew up on tour with my parents. Kind of different, but we bonded over music and we talked. Honest conversations, like when my dad shared his experiences as an alcoholic. Your honesty gave me a sense of integrity that I wanted in my own life. And I wanted you to know from someone who's been in recovery more than 30 years now, that hard work is what creates success, not alcohol or other drugs, in whatever you do. Talk, they hear you. This program is supported by The Innertown Record, your weekly hometown community newspaper covering the Kearsarge, Sunapee, Sunshine region of New Hampshire. The Innertown Record. Welcome back. I'm Abby Peel, your host of Yankee Chronicle. Last month, the Summer Music Associates sponsored a workshop in the Kearsarge schools featuring a dynamic and exciting musician. Let's hear from her about this work. Hi, Lindsay. Take three and I are so happy to be here in Kearsarge working with these kids. We had a wonderful afternoon with this band. There was one lone violinist and we're playing a piece called Natural by Imagine Dragons mixed with Carmen and it's a bit of classics with pops. Uh, I started an organization called Classics Alive. Oh my gosh, I cannot even tell you how many years ago it's been now, uh, over a decade ago. Um, I'm passionate about bringing classical music to children. I will never forget one day in my life, I was five years old and I was at Parker Elementary in Houston, Texas, and in walked this very charismatic, famous violinist. And he came to our little school. The feeling that I had watching him, I, I, there was a fire lit within my soul, and I just knew that is what I wanna do, that's gonna be my career. And every day since then, uh, has been geared towards uh, you know following my dreams and if any if there's one kid in here who we can make an impact they don't have to go into music they don't have to play an instrument if they can see our passion on stage and find something that they feel so strongly about and they want to wake up in the morning and they want to just work and work and work and get there and do something to the best of their ability then we've done our job so we're having such a blast
take three trio on all of that. And if you want to follow where we're going to be, because we have this long nine month tour, follow us at take3music.com. We have our full schedule up, 60 dates around the country. We want you to be there. Thank you, Lindsay, and thank you to the Summer Music Associates for their vision to excite and encourage young people in pursuing music in their lives. Next week, we'll be at the Renaissance Shop to hear about Hospice Month and the Lake Sunapee Region VNA's program. Tune into our live football game of the week on TDS TV 13 and 1013, NCTV 8, Apple TV, Roku, and at YCNnow.com this weekend for a tournament football game. All of our games are replayed on Sunday and Monday at noon and 7 p.m. and anytime on demand at YCNnow.com. Check out the program schedule at YCNnow.com for the most up-to-date information on games, Yankee Chronicle, and specials. I'm Abby Peel. Tune in again at this same time next week for your Who, What, Where, and When show, Yankee Chronicle. Stay safe, everyone. This program is supported by H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Their full-service model offers oil delivery, propane, motor fuels with design, installation, service, and maintenance of all types of oil, gas, and alternative energy systems, as well as air conditioning, water conditioning systems, and backup generators. Their highly trained and friendly staff will assist you throughout the process of buying, installing, and servicing a full line of energy products. H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire since 1997, with roots going back much further as the Country Press, AccuMail, and the home of the Kearsarge Shopper. Echo Communications. Main Street Bookends of Warner, for books, toys, games, cards, gifts, and a gallery of local art. Main Street Bookends of Warner. The Intertown Record, your weekly hometown community newspaper covering the Kearsarge, Sunapee, Sunshine region of New Hampshire. The Intertown Record.